So this year, the cruiser is back. Now this will be its third season and uh, we've traveled a fair bit of the country, but I'm looking forward to this season and where she's gonna take me again. So she does look a little bit different this season. Now, if we start right up the front, we've actually brought back the TJM winch bar that I had on season five. Now it's been in storage for a little while. It's been my favorite bar on this particular vehicle and she needed a little bit of TLC. So we stripped it back, we gave it a Raptor coat and uh, to complement that, we actually contacted Jace from U Group Fabrications. Now, last season he did an amazing job of the sliders on the ramp for Jess. So I thought, let's head back and see what he can do for the cruiser. Now, he has completely blown my mind. He has not only made these so much stronger than what I have ever had on the cruiser, but he has customised them to a T, even around the custom exhaust. And then to top it off, he's personalised it all and made a little imprint in there that he was pretty chuffed with and I dare say I was as well. So on the tray this year, we've got the Clearview drop slide as well as the Clearview cage, which I'm really excited about. In that, we've got the Mike Coleman 69 litre fridge and we've got the cover around that as well. Now we've also got the tyre spider, which makes putting tyre pressures up and down a complete breeze. Now all of that was fitted by the guys at Four Wheel Drive Zone in Bathurst. And I think that the setup we've got there is gonna be really unique, but also really, really practical for on the road. So underneath the cruiser, we haven't done a whole lot. The setup under there is pretty good already, but we did go into Tough Dog and we just did a few bits and pieces to make the ride a little bit smoother. Now, don't get me wrong, at the end of the day, she's an old cruiser, she's definitely no lounge chair, but we were able to do a few bits and pieces from when we had a heap of weight at her in the past to what she is now, that's really made cornering and just those little bits and pieces so much nicer on the road. So last year, the cruiser had more than a few issues. I did see the cruiser on the back of a truck more than a few times and I'm hoping this season that doesn't happen. Now in order to do that we put her into rehab, we sent her up to all 4x4 spares for a good solid week. Now we've got new swivel hubs, new brake assemblies, we've got a new rehousing, we've got uh, a new rear bar, we've got so much shiny stuff on the cruiser now and I'm hoping that uh, you know everything's going to come together. Now to top it off, the guys even put in a little bit of a special one. We've now got a e-locker in the front. So that means we are twin locked both front and back and I could not be happier. So this year we're running a great combination of projector and also sentry batteries. The Cruiser has a pair of 105 amp hour deep cycle batteries on the rear tray covered by a very sexy little battery cover that Jace again a U-Boot whipped up. These batteries power the PM400 management system which not only manages keeping all of the batteries charged but it also acts as the Cruiser's electrical brain. We have set it up to control just about everything from the canopy lights and camp lights to the air compressor, and I can even control my lockers from the tablet that's mounted inside the cab. So some of the other really cool little bits that we've got on the Cruiser this year is I'm actually running the Toyo Open Country RTs. Now, I have always run MTs, but last year Borgie was really happy with the RTs. So I'm gonna give them a go this season and uh, test them out, both on the long haul trips and obviously off-road and see how I like them. One of the other really cool new bits is the Smitty Built Winch. And we haven't tried these ones before, so I'm excited to give them a go. And then we've also got the Sabre Gear. Now this year, the guys have thought that I needed a bit more color on the car. So they've sent me some very colorful bits, including the winch rope to be able to get me out of any recovery or get Borgie out when need be. So performance wise on the Cruiser, we really haven't done much and that's actually a good thing. We spent a lot of time last season with the engine build, really going over and fine tuning everything, both for on-road, off-road, and I am so happy with where it's at. I do not want to touch it. It has been down to Berrimah and had a bit of a once-over. They're happy with it, which means I'm happy with it, and I'm just going to keep driving her the way she is. So in the cab, we've changed the seat covers over to a really nice light canvas, so I'm hoping that that is probably going to stay that colour, but we'll see how we go. And we've also got the HX2, which is the new one from HEMA. So I'm looking forward to trying all of those bits and pieces out and seeing how we go.